Hello everyone. Welcome back to the .NET office. In this video, we are going to discuss about the ng if, else, and then in Angular 15. So, like in the previous video, we had we have discussed about the ng if, and we have seen like how ng if works. So basically, ng if works to like if we want to manipulate the DOM element on a based on a particular condition, then we use the ng if. But like as we have seen in the uh, like a different type of the application, we, when we are going to use if then there is a else condition and then like if there if there is a condition true, then print this or in the else we are printing another condition. So in such kind of the scenario we have in the angular also and let's see how ng if else and then works. So let's go to the Visual Studio code and here first what I'm going to do is let's get rid of this one and here I'm going to take a uh, radio button so input type radio then name and this name will be unique for all the radio so based on that it will work so what i'm going to do i'm going to take the radio one and now we want on click like when i click on this particular radio button so that i want so first let's put it as a this radio is for the true and here let's click on click event for that one let's give click and what it will hit so on change and from here we will pass the value and from here we will pass the true so let's put the true and similar to this one we will take another radio button and that is for false and here we will pass the false and now let's create a one click event here so here what i'm going to do i'm going to take this one and the argument which will come from there and here now what i'm going to do let's make it as a type so give the type of this i'm going to take any and here i'm going to take one variable and that is like is visible so this variable first time i'm going to assign it as a true value to this one so it will be true now once we are going to change this value so it should assign as a argument whatever is coming that value whatever is coming we are going to assign to this one so here we have to use this dot is visible so we are assigning like if user will click true or false so that value we will assign to this variable now next thing what we will do here so so let's see what is this error okay so that here we have to change the value let's save this one so we can see it is uh, compiling successfully let's go on the browser and here we have that true or false like it is true or false so this radio button is created successfully so let's take it into the next line so that is the hr here i'm going to take now to div and here what i'm going to say is if star ng if star ng if and based on that like whatever the new value we have taken that is the is visible if is visible then this is true radio button clicked similar to that one what i'm going to do i'm going to take another div and that is for false and that is false radio button click now let's save it on go on the browser so here we have two value so currently by default it is true that's why it is saying true now if i will click on false we can see it is value change to the false true it is changing to the value so this is the way basically this uh, like a true uh, like basically ng if is working like we have set the value and based on that this value is changing now next thing is like currently we have used only ng if now instead of the ng if condition what if we will use the else like or if the condition is true then print that if condition is not true then print another value so else in angular we use when we need to store data when condition is false following is the way to write the else block so that is like we have seen like first we will see star ng if condition if it is true then that else other value so how we can do that that uh, code of block we can uh, write using the ng template so using the ng template basically we write 
else and then condition so let's change the code according to this one so currently we have the radio button and here we have the ng uh, like ng if now here what i'm going to do i'm going to take one div first in this day what i'm going to do i'm going to take this that is if it is visible if it is visible then here what i'm going to do i'm going to take a one variable and so for that one everything should be in double quotes so let's if ng uh, like this visible if it is true then like here what we have to do we have to take a one very well then what i'm going to take it like uh, then uh, like block else here i'm going to take else block so this is the way like first uh, we have put this one now here what we have to do instead of making it a div we have to make it as a ng template so for this one instead of the div let's make it as a ng template and let's copy this and here you put it like this and here what we have to do we have to instead of this one we have to use the hash this one similar to this like uh, we have to put for this also and let's put here ng template and apart from that let's append then block and here let's put as block and now let's save it so once i save it it is giving an issue that is else block okay so both the places we have put the then block so here it will be else block and let's make it as a small b so like when uh, if, if it is will be true is visible is true then it will call then block that we have written using the ng template if it is false then it will call this else block now let's save it and see on the browser it is successfully compiled let's go in the browser so here like true or false and this is the values by default first time it is true value then it is calling then block if i will click on the false it is calling else block let's click on the true it is calling the then block so this is the way like basically it is working so for more clarity let me put here hr and now let's save it and go in the browser so okay so it is not coming here okay so we have to put on the after the radio button basically so let's put it here now let's save it so we can see it is coming out so by default the uh, variable value is true so it is showing as a then block if i will click on the false else block and we can see the false basically if i will click on the true we can see then block so this is the way basically if else condition works in the angular 15 so that's it for this video if you have any question and doubt please comment thank you